what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another new video and the next video in my hashtag Holly Jilly Holiday series. Today I'm doing a pack with me video. This is something I haven't done in a while, but I wanted to share with you guys what I'm bringing home for my holiday vacation. I hope that this is helpful for those of you who are traveling over winter break, maybe back home from college or just on a little vacation. So if you're excited for this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. What a, what a fire starts to so I'm most definitely what you would call a classic overpacker, uh, but when you're packing a carry-on, you really have to try to get that under control. For example, like I would normally carry a ton of makeup in a giant makeup bag, but as you can see here, I really tried to just go down to the nitty gritty, my essentials of what I use every day. You wanna try to find those versatile products where you can create lots of different looks using the same products over and over again. I would normally bring like a million different lip options, but I just narrowed it down to two different options for two different looks. and often it's inside this tiny little bag, which is obviously ideal for the traveling. Okay, so obviously one of the biggest struggles when packing for winter is how heavy your coats are. So I definitely recommend wearing your heaviest jacket while you're traveling, plane, train, car, whatever it is. And then I also went for a moto jacket and then a more comfortable just plain hoodie. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold those up so that they're ready to get packed up. So clothes are obviously the biggest struggle when it comes to overpacking. It's really tough to narrow it down, but I suggest just starting with what you wear a lot in your everyday life. For example, you don't need like a ton of different pant options. I just brought three here, three basic ones that I know I would use. Think of the items that you like to wear in your everyday life over and over again, and that's a really, really good place to start. Of course, don't forget leggings and sweats to sleep in, really warm things, especially if you're traveling to a super cold area. So tops and sweaters are pretty much where I struggle the hardest when it comes to consolidating what I'm bringing. So I really had to get down to the nitty gritty of what I like to wear on an everyday basis. And the other hard part is when you're packing these bulkier sweaters, it's really hard to consolidate space in your suitcase because they are pretty bulky. So try to just pick as thin of items as possible that will still keep you warm. And also, once again, just think of the essentials. Like I only brought one really thick sweater here, that way I could try to save as much space as possible in my bag. So I'm actually going to be away over New Year's Eve, so I had to bring something formal, but I always think it's smart to pack a more formal option because you never really know where you might end up and you might need something a little bit nicer. So shoes are another really big struggle of mine, so I just tried to narrow it down. Obviously, you're gonna want some sneakers that you can wear when you travel, and then I just went for some casual ankle boots and some booties that I could dress up an outfit with. And then of course you get down to the nitty gritty, your underwear, your socks. I like to pack slipper socks because my feet get really cold, especially in cold places, obviously. And of course, whatever hats and beanies you want to help keep your head nice and warm while you're away. And then all you need to do is pack it all up. I always recommend putting most of your clothes on one side of your suitcase and all of your loose items like shoes, toiletries, jackets on the other side. One of my favorite ways to save space is to utilize the inside of my shoes to store socks and underwear in there. I also like to use this small pouch on the side of my suitcase for stirring dirty laundry that I want to keep separate. And then I just zip up my bag and I'm ready to jet off. And that's it for today's pack with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for my channel. Don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below where you're traveling during winter break. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.